Right, part two. Um, oh, I should have put the date in this. Right, this is the 18th of December 2010, a week before Christmas. So this, in a sense, is my Christmas message to one and all, traitors included. Right, Christmas, with all this lovely snow. Um, oh, wow, you can do it, you can... <laughs> right, anyway, that's me having a bit of a laugh. Right, I have discovered, rediscovered my sense of humour. Um, while the dog's enjoying the sniff and the ground around me. Anyway, if you've not seen the, me or the part one of this video, then my name is Stephen J. Humphrey, independent parliamentary candidate in the 2010 UK general election for Bournemouth East. And I should be running again for council for Boscombe East next year if we don't get a general election before then. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, Rob Steele. Right, Rob Steele gave us a lot of ideas about open source software. Why haven't we got open government? Why haven't we got open money? Why haven't we got an open and transparent Microsoft, for example? And Rob goes into some detail about some of these ideas about open society. And uh, I guess that ties in with Cameron's big idea about the big society. But they're not proposing uh, nationalising Microsoft because Microsoft produces the worst OS on the planet and, and the military industrial complex are keeping all of this stuff secret for some reason known only to them, but which we can speculate upon. Right, so those two people um, the one thing they have in common is that they've given us some good ideas. Now, the problem I'm discovering, and Rob Menard mentioned it on Facebook earlier today, is that we're basically seeing all the evidence we need. And I had the evidence 30 years ago when I was sacked from a, a youth training scheme in my hometown of Taunton. Summer's that. Um, when I joined, when I was 17 and a half, and I did a six-month work placement at the local hospital in the stores, and that kind of gave me a career in, in furniture removals, building, and all that kind of stuff, um, which is, explains why I've got a bad fucking back and can't walk very far and can't stand up long enough to do my bloody dishes etc etc which is why I'm on income support therefore I am disabled therefore I'm a representative um, example of disabled people for example right but for certainly the last six months since May oh it's seven months now isn't it but anyway I've just been seeing I've literally been bombarded with evidence um, Abu Ghraib, for example, is a good example. Evidence of torture, evidence of war crimes, evidence of crimes against humanity, um, serious organised crime, and um, since um, meeting up, uh, joining minds with Chris Coverdale on the Make Wars History site, um, these war crimes were commissioned by traitors. Um, because they've basically betrayed the public trust. And if you Google the Barons Committee 1999 and 1911, you'll see the evidence why for yourself. And then we go back to 1971 with the European Communities Act. And so on, all the way back to the Parliament Act. And for you American cousins, the Federal Reserve Act in 1913, which Woodrow Wilson enacted into law, which it turns out was at the behest of the British government. Because um, in the last couple of weeks, it has pretty much been proven um, beyond a reasonable doubt that you don't have an American president, you in fact have a colonial governor of Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II, of which I've issued a wanted poster saying that she's surrounded by armed and very dangerous hostile agents. And I pose the question, um, basically, if she's a traitor, how do we arrest her and get her on trial, like we did with James and Charles four or five hundred years ago? 
Uh, so, to summarise, basically for the last couple of years since I got myself online, at a massive expense I might add, um, all I've seen is evidence. Um, it was enough evidence to persuade me to borrow £500 and to stand as a validly elected, um, validly nominated candidate for the UK general election. Right, so... Pretty much the last two and a bit years I've been gathering evidence. I've posted it all on my YouTube channel at A41Dog. Uh, usefully entitled my Rothschild playlist. Um, the second playlist and the third Rothschild playlist. So um, You could probably watch them from start to finish over the course of a week. And then you'll basically be up to speed with where I am at the moment and where the likes of John Hurst and Rob Steele and Rob Menard and a few others are currently located. Right, so now um, David Icke gave, uh, kind of summarises the problem into three words. Problem, reaction, solution. Right, so the problem is we've got a surplus of evidence. We've got more than enough evidence to convict anyone we choose to look at, whether it's Cameron or Blair or Brown or Obama or Dick Cheney or e even Margaret Albright in her time and most certainly Henry Kissinger. Um, I heard on uh, a YouTube video this morning that um, Henry Kissinger basically can't leave the United States because if he did every country in the world would, would have officers ready to arrest him and he's therefore an exile in his own country. Yeehaw! And that's the least we could... So, there's a new, new punishment. Country arrest. You're not allowed to leave the country unless you have permission of the public. Or the Crown or whoever gives out these kinds of permissions. And then we've got TSA and all that kind of stuff. Right. So basically, for the last two and a bit years, I've gathered all the evidence on top of the evidence I had before about the crappy welfare reform and all that kind of stuff. The reaction was to stand for Parliament as a validly nominated candidate. Obviously, I failed because I wouldn't be standing here if I had. Uh, and I would have got more, a lot more than 249 votes. But anyway, that's my this problem was lots of evidence. Reaction, stand for Parliament, and the solution was to get elected to Parliament, and obviously that, that mission failed. But it kind of illustrates where I am at the moment. I've got more, all, the, all the evidence I need. I've sent it all off, I've disclosed it to the relevant persons, like David Cameron, like Gordon Brown before him, Tony Blair before him, and... Um, Ian Duncan Smith, for example, even President Obama, until he changed his email address and, and, and stopped receiving my emails. So I need to find his new email address and, and repost all of this stuff. But basically, we're in a solutions phase, like transition, Bournemouth. They're always talking about solutions to the problem. All right, we can react as much as we like. We can dig up as much evidence as we like. Um, but basically, it's not doing anything. We're, we're here just looking at YouTube videos and reading the blogs and reading the articles and seeing the news on the telly and all that kind of stuff. So we, we need some really useful solutions. And my Facebook page, I've, tried, I, I've kind of refocused my attention on to sharing solutions unless I find some really good evidence that basically backs up my case even stronger and I post that as well but basically we've we've done the problem right last hundred years has been a major 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 problem um, we've all reacted in our various ways like for example 26,000 people in Bournemouth East didn't vote at all which is their lawful right to do so. Um, but that 26,000 votes could have got me elected into Parliament. So we need to basically 
mobilise that support network. This is, ties in with what Rob Steele and to some extent John Hurst and the UK Column guys are talking about. And then um, we need to distribute those solutions. So your mission, should you choose to accept it before this tape runs out, is to propose solutions. Now, I, I've done some leg work and some of my friends on Facebook and YouTube and so on have done their bit. Uh, the anti-terrorist is a really good example. Um, and um, I might continue this in, in part three since it's a nice evening and I'm really enjoying this. Right, so part three coming up. My name is Stephen J. Humphrey, independent parliamentary candidate and anti-traitor.